one part of uh, heroic knowledge is to have a light hold on what you know, and that's innocence. Innocence in the mature way is to say, I believe this thoroughly. I'll die for this. But at the same time, to always say, I could be wrong. Yeah. Or I, I, I have this knowledge but I, I also have reset moments, right? In which I can put it down. Jimmy Page said something once. He said, you know, for two years, I put the guitar down and I never touched it. And to me, I've always taken that, you know, as, as meaningless. So it's not that you now sign off about being having a meaning. Well, I have a light hold. And I think because I'm just one of these superficial episodics. You can sound like that very easily. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, ritually, be able to step back from yourself to view yourself in another way, right? Yeah. Uh, it's part of this likeness of being. It's part of this thing of being, you know, the fool goes around with a very small pack on his back and he's able to open it and look at all the things that he has and he says, are these mine? Yeah. Why do they need this, right? Or what, you know, so it's like a very light uh, and loving uh, relationship with life itself in which you can at a given point utterly transform, uh, you know, like the chrysalis, the butterfly from the uh, cocoon, right? Yeah. And so that's what I mean, not... Uh, it's something to do with like Crowley's magical will is what it's really all about, in which you hold the opposite of everything that you, you know, espouse, everything that you hold sacred. You're equally aware of its refutation and its opposite. Now we don't have people like that. And we don't have educational systems that teach it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, nobody, not even Jordan Peterson, any of these people know nothing about this. Right? This is a very advanced state. It's in the zodiac. The sign of Libra represents this, and it's for everybody to go through that particular challenge. But it, it doesn't mean that you now see in a, when we speak in, in English vernacular, it sounds like I'm rejecting or throwing down what I believed that I'm renouncing it. This is the unfortunateness of the English language. It doesn't mean that at all. It, it's a point of rest. It's a point of, you know, the sea isn't moving. It's not taking you anywhere. Right. Uh, 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 benefit from that yeah. complete stillness of the lake or the ocean. Don't get all panic and frustrated. Why not sit and enjoy it, right? Mm -hmm. So there, there, there are moments like this in life, and you can bring them upon yourself. In the height of the battle, there's that, you know, in, in the cyclone, there's the eye of the storm. So it's a kind of a spiritual principle that most people don't even know anything about. Yeah. And you can do it bioenergetically, uh, you know, and you can do it in everything you believe. And then out of that comes a new revelation that may strengthen what you believe, or it may weaken it in a certain way. It's a principle, right? Uh, you know, the, the Libra, the Hebrew letter of that sign is the tallest in the Hebrew language. Lamed, right? It's the tallest physical character. Yeah. And so it's tall for a reason because it's overlooking the others. It's surveilling what you know. It's surveilling who you are. Yeah. And it, sometimes it can say, you know, by a bit of side lighting or like at this moment of reset we're talking about, you know, or the int intrusion of a, a miraculous thing in life. There's multiple ways this happens. But a great deal of what you have now you know, it's like arranging the, uh, you know, uh, like arranging a bowl full of uh, stones or you have the runes, you know, and, and every day you mix them up again to create a new sort of a new pattern in the runes, right? Or, or stones or minerals. You have to do that with your psyche. It's not about letting go of the thing that you thought. It's still in the same bowl. Yeah. But it's just a different arrangement. And so this is a flexibility, mut mutability, and ultimately a deep sensitization to, you know, the flow, yeah. uh, to the Wu Wei. And, and that's essential, and we're missing that. We're missing that in all of these paradigms.